Hello, all of us family. I am Jackie Smith Bell, and I am in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah is affectionately called the city by the sea. But um, my husband and I have been here uh, a little uh, over 20 some odd years, and um, I affectionately call Savannah the place where seasons don't seem to end. But before I go any further with my recount to remember, thank you, Rachel Wade, for providing this space um, where we can come together and recount the goodness of God, especially in seasons where things aren't going well. It's just good for us to look back and number the numerous times that God has been faithful. And so again, thank you for sharing this space so that we can provide that uh, remembrance for other women, especially on the days where you feel weak by everything that's going on in the world. Uh, today is one of those days for me, and I think it's that way for most of us as we look at the tragedies that have become commonplace in our world. Um, there is just an unsettling part of our souls that grows weary and weak. And um, what I want to speak about today is a message of hope. Hope in the one who anchors our soul, anchors our heart, and influences our empathy when there's just matters that are going on out of our control. We have compassion for one another. Uh, we pray for one another. Um, we draw strength from one another. But there's a scripture in Isaiah, Isaiah 40, if I can remember correctly. Let me grab my Bible. Yes, Isaiah 40. Uh, and it's Isaiah 40 and 28. Um, and it says something that I had to just remind myself today. It starts out by saying, do you know? And that's what we have to remember. We have to remember who God is. But scripture goes on to say, do you know, have you heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the whole earth. He never becomes faint or weary. There is no limit to his understanding. He gives strength to the faint and he strengthens the powerless. Youths may become faint and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not become weary. They will walk and not faint. Sisters, the Lord is our eternal hope and strength during seasons such as this. 2020, 2021 has swept us away in such a way that we have been drowned with all types of differences that we never thought we'd see the day that we would have to talk about it, right? But I had a season where I was diagnosed with cancer. At the same time, um, I was going through one of the hardest seasons of my marriage. And like I told you, I live in Savannah and it seems like the seasons really don't change. And that's what we're in the midst of. But we serve a God who never changed. His power is always at the top. And so we can trust him, trust in the Lord when we can't understand all this going on. So I encourage you today, your hope is anchored in the one who restores your hope and joy. Be blessed. I hope it's something that I've said that can encourage you today. Because when all else fails, God's word is standing strong to strengthen you in the days where your hope and hopelessness has to coexist, but we can center it on a faithful God who cares about it all. God bless you all and have a great day.